Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today's video is all about getting my kitchen organized and decorated. I'm so ready to have this like a back to normal. We were trying to make like mac and cheese last night and we could not find anything we needed. Um, so it'll be so nice just to like have a working kitchen again, even though I don't cook a lot, we still need it. Um, so I'm gonna show you some before clips, make sure you're subscribed, and then we're gonna get to tackling this kitchen and getting everything organized. You just saw the before clips and now this is the current state I am. So I'm so ready to get this tackled and organized so we can have a working kitchen again. So I'm starting with the cabinets that I know where I want stuff to go and I feel like drinks go really well right next to the refrigerator because that's where you're grabbing like the water or whatever you need. Um, these I'm going to leave for over by the coffee bar because they're more for coffee, but so far I think we're doing good. If I don't have to use those right there, I'm not going to because I can't get to them. So it'll just be for like extra things. And then we even have that layer up there if we need it. But stuff I'm going to be touching daily or just often, I'm trying to keep within these first two levels that I could actually get to. So I think I got all the cups put away. I might have more. So that's how that one's going. Those are all like coffee cups. That's why I kept them on that side. And then I got the other drinking glasses here. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the plates because I like to have them to the right of my stove for whatever reason. So I'm gonna get some of that put up. Then I can start figuring out where like other things are gonna go. The only thing that's throwing me here is I wanted this to be like my baking station because that's where I have like my brown sugar and flour and all that and it might still work because I have these drawers here. I'm just wondering should I put my plates up in the cabinet or them down here in the drawer where it's easier to get to. Dishes and bowls are done. Like I said, I need to get the <laughs> top shelf and then I can figure it out. 
Um, I went ahead and like broke some of these up because I didn't want a ton of weight on those shelves. It kind of scares me even though it's a new house. Um, so even if, even though it's like the same thing, I'm still like breaking it up, but that's looking good. I decided for the drawer, I may do more of the baking stuff. Um, these bowls, white ones, I really like. I may put those up here when I get that shelf in. Now I'm gonna kind of come down here for a second and make one of these my baking drawers possibly to see um, how those bowls and different things will fit down here. I've never really had drawers to put stuff in other than like forks and stuff like that. So I'm curious to see how it'll work down here. I think I'm actually gonna really like this. Um, I threw away one bowl because it was stained and I'm gonna replace it and that will go perfectly there. And then all these smaller things, I'm gonna go grab, oh, I was gonna put it here. I completely forgot I did this already. I was looking for straws and stuff last night. I had no idea. I think I vaguely remember doing it when I was really tired, I think, because we were looking for stuff. That is hilarious. Okay, I was gonna put some baking stuff here. So now I'm gonna have to think real fast if I wanna move this or just move that stuff somewhere else. Okay, so I'm trying to figure this out. I also have this one done because obviously people need their coffee in my house. <laughs> so um, we have coffee makers here. Chase has one, Savannah has one. I'm thinking about moving all of this down and then maybe putting all of these supplies here and then that leaves this open for like baking stuff. So then it's like you can bake right here with your supplies. You'll have it there, you'll have the bowls and then the ovens here and everything you need. So I think I'm gonna do some itch to switching already. So last night it was super late, but we ended up at Walmart to pick up a few things and I grabbed some of the own, um, home edit organizers um, because I knew I was probably gonna need them and I'm glad I did because I'm gonna need all of these. I probably should have brought even more, but I think these will help me get the baking stuff organized and then I need a few more for my silverware drawer over here and then I really need some more for the coffee station. So let's see if we can make them all fit. I think I got these drawers looking good. Next time I go, I'll probably pick up more um, just to fill this in. So as we get things or as I'm unpacking other things, um, there's actual like dividers there. But other than that, it's looking good. I think this will still be a good spot over here for this. Um, just cause I think the bakeware is just gonna look better over here and function better since that's where the oven is.
it's getting a little overwhelming and I'm getting a little stressed. <laughs> There's a lot going on. So real quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and put these knives in here. These are like two of the new Walmart ones and get this drawer figured out. Then we're gonna take a pause and I'm gonna clean a little bit and then we'll regroup and finish the rest of the kitchen. I'm just an accident way to not perfect but better <laughs> so i'm gonna take it um the next thing i'm gonna work on is pots and pans because i know i want them to go right here with the stove so anytime i'm putting stuff away in the kitchen i try to think where is the easiest place to get it <laughs> and so um to me drinks close to the fridge silverware close to the dining table um, for some reason, I just like my plates to the right of the stove, um, baking stuff close to the oven. That's just kind of my theory or system. So I'm going to get all my pots and pans organized in those two drawers. I just found my pans um, or dishes to bake in. In the last house, I had them so high up that every time I had to do something, Chase had to go get it down for me. So I'm putting this in that bottom drawer down there. So anytime I wanna bake or do whatever, make a cake, <laughs> bake a casserole, which never happens, but if I want to, I'm gonna be able to reach it. For all these like skinnier ones, I noticed that our cabinet guy gave us these little cubbies. So I'm gonna put them in there as well as the cutting boards too. So now all that's organized down there and then this as well. I didn't want to have to worry about those lids all the time so I went ahead and rearranged this just a little bit and put them up there because most of the time I'm just grabbing that to put something in. So just made that little switch but other than that everything else is the same. All the time. Looks like you're changing and all. Well, why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the air, always something in the air. Inexplicable, I can feel it in the air. Can you feel me? Honestly, 
did not think this was gonna work when I saw this. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to put stuff in and close it. And then I didn't know what I would do with those shelves, but I feel like it's perfect. I can see everything I need. And once again, it's right here by the baking station and the stove. So it serves both purposes. In my last pantry, this is how I did our spices and I loved it. I also have another bin I need to grab, um, but they gave me, this is what I'm assuming is a spice rack. <laughs> um, and it will be nice to have it like right here next to the stove when we're cooking. So I'm gonna put all of that out. And then like I said, I think I have other ones um, that like aren't as pretty. They're in the original like packaging. So I'm gonna grab those too. Do you miss me at all? about the things we used to do no you couldn't stand tall so why didn't you why didn't you call so many years has gone by but i think about you about you all the time looks like you're changing and all but why didn't you why didn't you call If you are doing a remodel or building, I highly suggest these two little pullouts. Like I said, I didn't ask for them. Um, he just put it in the plans when we were kind of like designing the kitchen. And it's a, just a really nice way to stay organized. Plus everything can like stay put away. I always hate having salt and pepper out, but I know you need it in your kitchen. So I love that it's just like right there now. I've got some like randomness <laughs> there and there and I'm kind of saving those for last and I'm trying to get the most important things done. I think the next thing I need to work on are my food storage containers. I'm not too worried about my um, like hosting supplies just cause they can always go way high up. Um, but what I just realized is I haven't like touched the side <laughs> of the island. Um, I think these are all empty. I need to make sure I haven't unpacked <laughs> when I was delirious. Obviously this will be all cleaning products, which I need to go out and get. This is our trash can drawer. Um, our realtor, oh, right here, got us tons of like summer stuff for the house. So I have it in there, I like having paper plates. This will probably be all of our dish towels. So I have that one down there open and all three of those. And then on this side, that's my silverware. So I'll probably do food storage here since like we'll cook and then I can prep it here and then put it in the refrigerator. Now on these at the last house, I kept them nested. I might keep one that way, but I'm gonna just see if I have room to take the rest of them out just so when I need like the small one down there, I don't have to take off like every lid to get to it. So I'm gonna try to organize this just a little bit better. I'm missing some of my storage containers, but I'm not 100%, but maybe they'll turn up. Um, I was trying to use these at first. I forgot those were from my, my pots and pans, so I don't need those anymore. I'm gonna hang on to this one just in case I am missing something and I can use that. And I decided to use one of these because it had a divider in it um, for my lids. So now they're up and I can just grab whatever size I need. So that worked out nicely. I pulled everything out of that box and I'm gonna see out of this what I can fit in between these two drawers. I also have this one, but it's kind of a random drawer. Um, I will say these, I got off Amazon and they look like Starbucks cups. So I'm gonna put those over with the coffee just so people know they can grab them. Um, this is like a party bin. If I have to put that in the pantry, that's fine too. And I actually just remembered we have the whole laundry room if I need anything to go over there as well. So like the party stuff may go into the utility room.
outside. I really like having to-go containers here just so when we're posting, if people want to take something home, so I'll constantly like bring stuff that we have from restaurants. And I like to keep stuff on hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it there. That's how this drawer turned out. I think I'm gonna throw these right here just so if anybody wants like a plastic cup, sometimes they ask for them. And then, oh, I actually bought more hand towels. They're in the dryer, so I'm gonna go get those. That doesn't go in there. I might change all these out. I'm gonna go grab the new ones and fold them and then we'll put them out. Feel like I'm left with this section which a lot of this is just organizers that if I don't use I don't use um, some of my platters and stuff if I can get them to fit down here in this drawer I'm going to like I said I have all this high up storage but if I could get it down here it would be nice so when I need it I can just pull it out so I'm gonna put it in there see if I can make it work get the main pieces that I might use and then I can put the rest up I just remembered I have these cabinets down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. That way I can put all of that, all of this, all my serving stuff down there between those two places. We are killing it. I still have those two drawers empty, but I haven't done my pantry yet. So I don't know if my pantry video is going up first. Um, this one should be going up first, but if it's already done, go and watch it. But if not, this is how it started. <laughs> so there may be a few boxes in there that still go out here. So I'm glad I have a few drawers left. Um, I'm gonna need this step stool and I have this drawer empty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. So I'm never having to look for it. It's just there ready to go. Um, I will say down here is my like broom and vacuum closet. Chase is gonna have to take my vacuums. We will not be doing that today. The last thing I wanna do before we like clean and decorate, this video is probably gonna be so long. <laughs> um, I wanna go get all my cleaning products. I've just been throwing stuff in here. I've got a ton in the garage and I loved how my organization was at the last house. So I'm gonna see if that same system works. And then I'm gonna clean all the countertops and then we're gonna decorate <laughs> and then we're gonna do just a quick little walkthrough and then we'll be finished. We are gonna see if I can make this fit. <laughs> I feel like this one's bigger than my last one just by a little bit, but um, the guts of it may be set up different. What's in there, I'll pull out and I'll try to declutter as I go too because some of these bottles may be empty. If you let me stay. This is all the stuff I have left over. Those towels or cloths just need to be washed. A lot of this cleaning products just need to go in other like powder bathrooms or my laundry room, stuff like that. So I'll work on that. But I did get this done. It looks a little bit different than my other one just because of all those like pipes and stuff. I couldn't do the same thing. So I decided to put my cleaning cloths over here, which might be nice that I don't have to bend over. I can just like grab 
um, the cleaner and then I don't have to come down here and like open up a drawer to get it out because I'm always grabbing those. So I think it actually may work out better. Now it's time to clean and decorate. So why I'm cleaning and wiping all this down, I need to load that in the dishwasher, but the dishwasher's full and I haven't decided if I want to unload it yet. I'm so tired. Um, I'm going to have Chase hang our family photos here. So these photos were when you first walked in our front door at the old house and I loved them. Um, I really need to update the photos in them, but we're going to go and get them hung right here. I think it'll look good because this is like where our pantry is. So I'm going to clean all the countertops and then I'm going to start decorating while he's hanging. I want to stay in your sunlight. I want to wake up with you by my side. Without you there is no tomorrow. We did it. So I'm going to take you through so you can see it with all the cabinets opened and then I'll do it with them shut so you can see what it looks like during the day. But I did a little bit of rearranging off camera. So I switched out some of the cups here, but I'm glad to have all that finished. And then right here is my silverware drawer, food storage drawer. And then right now that's just my little step stool. And then over here by the stove, I have my Caraway on top and then my Walmart on bottom and I love both. Completely different price ranges, but they work, both work really well. Um, and then up here I have all my um, like bowls and plates. Like I said, we're still waiting for that shelf to come in. And then down here I love that like all the oven mitts and baking supplies are just right here. So there's that. I'm gonna get one more mixing bowl because I threw one away. And then I have an empty drawer because I had um, my bakeware here, but I realized I had a drawer over here. Um, so I'm And then down. above the stove is all my cookie sheets and um, cutting boards that we actually use. I have cutting boards down here, but they're more for like decor. I mean, you can grab them if you need them. Over here, it's a little bare. I have Chase's coffee mugs because this is his coffee maker <laughs> right there. I don't drink coffee. And then over here, this is Savannah's. Um, so I put all her types of coffee cups here and her Starbucks cups. And then this is like what I call the coffee drawer. I need to get a few more like organizers so I can work on that. And then this one's all of just like our plastic products and it goes to the lids and straws to those Starbucks cups, all of that. And then down here is all of our like serving wear. So we got everything in. And here is what it looks like with all the doors shut. Um, I'm super happy we had the backsplash switched out. Um, if you're new here, the wrong backsplash was installed and I tried to make it work and I didn't like it. So like the week before we moved in, they ripped it out and put in kind of what I was wanting and it just looks so much better. But I'm so glad to have a functioning kitchen again. I actually miss having meals at home. We've been eating out so much. Um, so it's just nice to have everything back in here. Now here in the island, we'll go through these real fast. I have like, I'm gonna consider these more of like our hand towels. And then this is what we'll dry dishes off with. Here is just kind of, I always call it like my party drawer for some reason, just when people are over. This is kind of like a junk drawer. It's a little bit of everything. And then that's our trash can. And then right here underneath the sink, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I feel like here I have more space than last time. It was just like really tight at the last house. And then I'm gonna make this my junk drawer. I have one in my laundry room too, but I want one in here that's easy to grab. So I'm gonna work on that once I get more supplies and like organizers. 
Here's all my cleaning cloths. And then down there is just some extra stuff as well. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching today's video. I hope it got you motivated to work on your kitchen. Even if you've been in your home a long time, sometimes it's really smart just to pull everything out, clean all those drawers and cabinets, and then reorganize and declutter as you're putting it back in. I know it's so much work, but it always feels so good when you're done. But once again, I appreciate you being here. If you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscribe button. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.